Hi guys, so I'm at the Innovation Village in Tinder. There is a master, a master class today uh, by Busi Tembakwayo. He's a popular, successful South African entrepreneur. So I'm super excited. I want to vlog a bit and bring you guys around. Uh, the class starts at 2 p.m. and it's almost 2, so come along. careful about how these masterclass are positioned. For those of you who don't know, here's actually how the masterclasses came up. I was, so I get about 400 emails a day. And, and of those, and those by the way don't include spam, those are actual emails. <laughs> and of those, probably, I'd say a solid 200 are entrepreneurs asking some or other question. And I don't know how this. I don't. Know how, I have to tell you. I don't know how this happened. I don't know when I became the guy people started asking questions to. One day I woke up and I was getting, on average, 200 emails. Stuff like, "Hi, Vosi. I raised some funding from family members." And because there were family members, there was no shareholders' agreement. The business is doing well now, and the share and the family members want their money out, or they want a percentage of profits, or they keep drawing cash from the business. What do I do? Um, that was an interesting one. I once got a, a young lady who said, Hi, Vusi, my husband funded my business and now we're getting divorced. Is he entitled to two shares? Um, the answer is yes, by the way. And the answer is yes, not because he funded your business, but because he's your husband. He's entitled to 50% of everything you have. Um, so, so what I started doing was I, I try to answer these, but I never get around to everything. So one day, I went online on IG and I said, anybody that follows me 
on Saturday, I'm going to host a free masterclass. Come to my office between 9 and 11, and you can ask me any question you want. If I have the answer, I'll tell you. If I don't know, I'll tell you where to find it. So Saturday arrives, and uh, my team gets there kind of early. And they phone me at about 8.45, and they go, you won't believe this, but there's like, there's like 100 people here. What do you mean? There's 100 people here. Um, and by the way, you guys are sitting very nicely. When we do master classes back home, those of you who follow it know, you have to bring your own chair. Uh, the reason we did that is because I realized that in the space of entrepreneurship, money often went to the wrong things. So they, you know, were spending money on the conference about entrepreneurs, but not on the entrepreneurs who go to the conference. So I was like, well, let's unconference it. Let's not spend money on chairs, let's spend money on the work. So anyway, I get there and there's all these entrepreneurs and then we kind of did it. And some of them actually have done phenomenally well. One of them now just raised uh, $3 million in funding. He's at a series, I think it's a series B fund, series B funding. Uh, I participated in the series C. I didn't tag along with the Series A, um, and now he's raising Series B, so I keep getting diluted down, which is not great. But uh, his business is growing. He's signing on new clients. He's got a medical insurance program that uses prepaid data, so prepaid analytics data, and can pre-score you as a credit client using prepaid data. So he does the analytics on the prepaid side, and then he does the insurance on the, on the medical insurance side. Great business, and I genuinely, I said to him, I think you have the, the potential to transform the way we do medical insurance in much of the continent. 100 people below you for every one of you who are inspired by you. So when you get to the next level, as you're facing those challenges and you want to give up, you don't let yourself down, you let the 100 below down. Because the messaging to them, yeah, yeah. Because the messaging to them is it's impossible, can't be done. Um, and, and, and the minute that messaging becomes pervasive and settles and we're in trouble.